tell me, you know, why you picked SU, why, why you liked uh, that school over the others that were on your final list? Uh, I think Syracuse was, was the best fit for me. Um, Coach Hopp and Coach Bainham really reeled me in when they were recruiting me. Um, the playing style, everything just really fit. I love being in the dome, all the, all the fans, everything. I just really love Syracuse. I think that's why I really chose to go there. Now, two of the other schools on your final list were Rutgers and Indiana, and on the day you were going to make your announcement, you wear a red tie <laughs> to school. Yeah. Why did you decide to do that, and what was the rate kind of reactions that you were getting that day? Um, I knew uh, if I had the red bow tie on, it would throw a couple people off, and they wouldn't expect Syracuse. Um, a couple people asked, like, why do you have a red, red bow tie on? I said, uh, just know it might be a red school. Uh, some people figured it would be Indiana because they were red, and then some people guessed Rutgers because it was close to home, and they also were red too. So they just figured it would be one of those two. They didn't, no one suspected Syracuse, and that was the whole, whole plan. Maybe your mom and dad knew. I don't know if they did. Uh, yeah. Did they? Did, did, had you told anybody else, any of your other friends? No, we were only only few people that knew. Uh, them two, my sister, and my older brother knew. All right, and now this class has come together for Syracuse, the 2015 mm -hmm. class. You were kind of at the, the head of it, right? Yeah, uh, Tyler, Tyler committed first, and then me, and then I want to say Mustafa, and then Frank. Yeah, no. and now you guys know each other? Yeah, we're all close kind of friends. All getting to know each other? Yeah. How often do you communicate with the guys? Uh, me and Frank talk every once in a few weeks. Uh, me and Tyler talk on Twitter every now and then, and then me, me and Mustafa also talk every every couple weeks. Now, a, a little while ago, Coach Beheim mentioned that this might be his best recruiting yeah. class ever. Okay, big <laughs> smile. What, what was your reaction to that? What do you think about that? Any kind of uh, pressure being put on you guys by the coach? I don't think it's any pressure, but I think that we can definitely live up to it because I know he coached a guy named Carmelo Anthony, so that's, those are big shoes to fill, but I think we can, all, we can do it. Now, you began your high school career at Trenton Catholic, mm -hmm. and then you went your sophomore year up to Roselle Catholic. And you played with a guy that's now at Syracuse, and Tyler yeah. Roberson. Yeah. You looking forward to reuniting with him? Yeah, because hopefully we can be the first uh, first two guys to win a, a high school championship and an NCAA championship. Well, how has it been now that you you only spent the one year at Roseau Catholic? You transferred back to, to Trenton Catholic. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a lot closer to home here. Yeah. Uh, you know what what went into that decision to to come back? and leave as a Catholic, come back to TCA? Um, I think just being able to play in front of all my friends and family again, uh, having my grandparents and uncles and aunts at the game just made it a lot easier coming back home. And I knew I wanted to get them home and be able to be home for them to see me play. Because I knew going up to Roselle was a tough little travel, and I knew once I got to college, they, they wouldn't be able to come to the games a whole whole lot. So I think it was a lot easier coming back here and just being able to play in front of, in front of them.